Hello friends, I am Neeraj Sharma, uh, uh, Department of Information Technology from Biani Group of Colleges. I am presenting uh, on the behalf of Guru KPO on my topic in e-commerce. Uh, topic is testing, implementation and maintenance. First of all, uh, we should know about the testing. Uh, before uh, discussing about the testing, we should know about the quality assurance. What do you mean by quality assurance? So, quality assurance basically uh, in software product, if we want to maintain the quality, then we should know about the quality assurance. So, uh, first of all, uh, we should know that uh, review of the product. We, we should review uh, time to time on the product, uh, software product. So, re which is related with the documents, uh, completeness, correctness, reliability and maintainability. These features should be there in the particular uh, software product for check the quality assurance in the product. Second of thing, uh, quality assurance uh, can be done by the uh, two process. First is called testing process and second is called verification and validation process. So, uh, we discuss about the testing process. What do you mean by testing? So, testing is basically a process by which uh, we can uh, test the software product. We can say that uh, if we have the coding part, we have the actually basically we have the uh, seven parts of the uh, soft, uh, system development life cycle. So, first of all, we discuss about the system development life cycle. What is system development life cycle? Uh, in system development life cycle, we have seven phases. So, first uh, phase is called uh, which is called requirement gathering. So, first uh, client should be uh, cleared or maybe software company should be required gather the, the information or so required information uh, which they want to develop a software to develop a software product. So, second thing uh, after gathering the information uh, we should go with the analysis part uh, then uh, we should go to the third part which is called coding designing part. So, uh, designing is uh, maintain uh, how we can design a product or how we can design a software how, how we can design a page. After that we have uh, another part uh, which is called coding part. After completing the designing uh, we should implement the coding part and uh, coding part is basically define the functionality that how the uh, we should implement the uh, uh, product or uh, maybe code into the software product and how it will be work uh, using of functionality uh, provided to the buttons to the control and etc etc. So, we can say that. Uh, the, the next part is called uh, testing part. Testing uh, basically define that how the code is tested uh, to the product. Um, uh, we have the two type of testing black box and white box testing. So, black box testing basically define that uh, we should be uh, able to uh, check the uh, uh, designing part of the particular software product. And uh, in white box testing uh, basically we check the code coding part. So, coding part means uh, we check the programs on instructions or code. Friends, uh, let us discuss about the types of testing that uh, how many type of testing we have. Actually, first of all, we should uh, start with the unit testing. Uh, what do you mean by unit testing? Basically, unit testing is involved the test uh, which is based on the module. So, we can say that in application particularly divided into particular some modules or sub modules. So, after that we can say that uh, every module have to be checked uh, individually and after that we can uh, integrate the all modules uh, particular time. So, we can say that unit testing is very important testing uh, for white box uh, purpose. So, uh, next of all we can discuss about the system testing. What, is, what do you mean by system testing? Basically, system testing is uh, test the software system, uh, what configuration we need uh, to run the applications and uh, how a application can be run using of memory or maybe some kind of specific RAM or basically some kind of uh, specific processor, code you do processor or maybe some other processor. So, we can say that uh, system te testing is basically test the functionality of the system. Uh, next is uh, recovery uh, software. Recovery software is basically uh, check uh, or uh, test uh, the basically recover from faults and uh, resume processing with the in specified times. Friends, another testing uh, we can discuss about like uh, load testing is there. So, load testing basically check the data, uh, how many data or maybe how much data we can access in particular system. Uh, for example, we have 1 lakh records, the system can be capacity have. Uh, to test the uh, to execute the data or database maybe. So, on that time we have to check that uh, after 1 lakh records
what the application should be work or not. So we can test uh, with the using of load testing. In case of storage testing, uh, we should be determine the capacity of the system. For example, we have uh, 32 GB RAM and after that still uh, we do not, uh, a application needs 64 GB RAM. So on that time the application uh, will be not work. So uh, we should be check uh, this uh, using of storage testing. So procedure testing is another type of testing. We can check the documentation part as well as the functionality of uh, the procedure, how it can be work. Friends, uh, thanks a lot for watching my video. Please subscribe, share and uh, like uh, my video if you like. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.